Hi, and welcome to Stephen Hellwick Talks Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to leverage the Elgato Stream Deck and the Philips Hue Go to create a quick and easy work from home status light for my family. Uh, even though I have a home office and I have a door with two small children, sometimes the closed door is not a good enough signal that I can't be disturbed. And other times I might have the door closed, but I can be bothered if they needed to get me for something. And so I am going to leverage the Philips Hue Go as a quick and easy light to let them know when they can come and get me or when I need to be able to focus. If you're new to the channel, I uh, appreciate every like and subscribe here on Stephen Helwig Talks Tech. Uh, if you have any co questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure you've opened the Elgato Stream Deck software. And the great thing is Elgato has actually made a plugin for Philips Hue. Uh, so we need to go ahead and import that plugin or install that plugin. So if we open up the uh, more action section here, you can type in Philips with one eye. I always mess that up and click install. And once that's installed, you can search through your list of available actions, type in Philips, and you'll see the set of options you have. So you can um, bring in one to just turn a light on or off, to adjust to a specific color, which is what we'll be using, to cycle through a set of your favorite colors, to adjust brightness, or to set a specific scene if you've created scenes inside the Philips Hue app. So I'm gonna bring in this color one here. And once you've brought that in, you will be able to, um, see that there's no bridges associated yet. So I uh, have a Philips Hue bridge here. All the Philips Hue lights uh, generally interact with the bridge. So I'm gonna click add new and I will say discover bridges and it's gonna look on my network for a bridge and it's found one and now it wants to pair with that bridge. So I'm gonna hit pair and it's gonna ask me to click the button here. So I'm gonna click the button on my bridge. That is done. And now I'll have access to the lights associated with my bridge. So when you click on this light section, it's gonna be broken down into two areas, groups. So I have uh, two groups, I have, or there's three here, but the, the main groups I use are the office group, which are all the lights that are associated with my office, and then the status group, which are all the lights that I'm gonna use for status. Now, the I only really have one light in here, which is the Hugo, and same with office, I only have one Philips Hue light in the office, but if I do add more, the great thing is about, about the groups is that you can adjust all of the lights at once. So in this case, I'm gonna use status, so that if I do add additional status lights throughout the house, I'll be able to adjust them and I'm gonna choose a color. So this is gonna be my busy light. So I'm gonna choose a red color, okay? And then I'm gonna just put in here, um, do not disturb. Actually, this is gonna be do not disturb, so D&D. &D. And I'm gonna add an icon. So grab an icon from a file here and I've created a set of icons which I'll include links to those icons and I'll grab the red one. So you see, I have this do not disturb light, which is red. So I'll go ahead and repeat that now for the other lights. So I have um, do not disturb. I kind of have a busy light. And for me, busy is, hey, I'm working on something, but uh, you know, if you need to bother me, you can bother me, but try not to unless it's something urgent. And then I'll go with this kind of yellowish color for that. And then I, I chose more of an orange tone here because yellow doesn't quite show up as brightly on the Hugo. So I kind of uh, chose a more orange color. So this is busy. And then I will do an available light. So we'll go grab that. Status here, we'll go with a green color. And we will set that icon from file. Okay, and so this will be um, available. Okay, and we'll adjust this text just slightly smaller so it fits. Okay, all right, so from here we will um, switch over and I will show you how to use these buttons. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you how this all fits together uh, very quickly. And so um, I, you see here that I have the uh, stream deck and it has the buttons on the stream deck. And in addition, I have the Philips Hue Go. So I'm gonna try to hold this up so you can see, right now it's just kind of on this white light. I know it can be sometimes hard to come through. So as you see, if I go ahead and push do not disturb, it turns to this red, deep red color. 
If I hit busy, changes to more of this orangish hue. And then I hit, if I hit available, it changes to that green color, All right? So those are the three buttons. I'll probably add an on off button as well, just to turn it off or reset it to a, diff, uh, to a normal color after my work day. But you can see really quickly, red for do not disturb, yellowish orange for busy, and green for available. Thanks again for joining me here on Stephen Helwig Talks Tech. I hope you enjoyed the quick look at how you can set up a work from home status light using the Elgato Stream Deck and the Philips Hue Go. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. As always, we appreciate every like and subscribe, and we'd appreciate it if you'd share it with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your colleagues, anybody who's trying to make it through a pandemic while working from home. All right, have a good one. Bye.